everybody. What was that? It was thunder, Gus. Don't you know about thunder? I'm new here. How am I supposed to know what thunder is? Oh, jeez, girls. What was that? It was thunder again. Oh, I, I thought it was a sheepdog or something. It sounds like you really need to learn about thunder and lightning. Thunder! Thunder! Everyone's calm! No, no, no! Cut it out! Thunder, lightning, pay attention! Let's learn about thunder and lightning! Lightning is a bright flash of electricity made by a thunderstorm. Every thunderstorm produces lightning and can be very dangerous. So if you do hear the sound of thunder, you may be in range and in danger from lightning. So what exactly causes lightning? Lightning is a powerful electrical discharge that is created during a thunderstorm. Lightning starts in clouds called cumulonimbus clouds, otherwise known as thunderheads. Hmm, sounds like a heavy metal band. <laughs> These clouds have a positive charge at the top and a negative charge towards the bottom of the cloud. Within a thunderhead that's way up in the sky, a lot of tiny pieces of ice start bumping into each other as they move around in the air. These collisions then begin to create an electric charge, and eventually the entire thunderhead gets filled up with these electrical charges. Like a magnet, opposites attract, which causes a positive charge to begin building on the ground beneath the clouds. The ground's electrical charge builds up around anything that sticks up, which can be like mountains, people, poles, or tall, single trees. Next, the electrical charge growing from these points finally connects with a charge that is reaching down from the clouds and zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
is about 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is six times hotter than the surface of the sun. So does lightning have a color? Because lightning looks to be clear or bright white yellow colors, but it really depends on what is behind the lightning when it strikes. So now you understand lightning, but what causes thunder? Thunder. Well, thunder is actually caused by lightning. The reason we see lightning before we hear thunder is because light moves quicker than sound. When you see a lightning bolt, it travels from the cloud to the ground and opens up a little hole in the air. This is called a channel. <gasps> Speaking of channels, you should subscribe to us and give us a big thumbs up. Then, once the lightning is gone, the air collapses back in and produces a loud sound wave that we hear. That is the sound of thunder. Did you know it's impossible to have thunder without a lightning bolt? That's right, Gus. And this is because thunder can only happen from a lightning bolt. However, if you're very far enough away from the lightning bolts, you may still see the flash, but you will not hear the thunder. In fact, if you're more than 12 miles away or 19 kilometers from a lightning bolt, you probably won't even be able to hear any thunder. So how do you know if lightning is near you? Well, first, if you see dark clouds in the sky, then lightning could be close. However, the best thing you can do is listen to see if you hear any thunder. If you do hear thunder, you should go indoors or get in a car as fast as you can. That's right, Quinn. You don't want to be outside where lightning could strike you or something near you. Another way to tell if there's a thunderstorm is if your hair stands up <gasps> or your skin begins to tingle. This could mean that lightning is about to strike. Ah! So now you might ask, how far away can you actually see lightning? Well, some distant lightning bolts can be seen as far as 100 miles from us. But this depends on the size and height of the lightning bolt, as well as the clarity of the air and your elevation. But thunder has a much smaller range. That's right. You can be less than 15 miles in a quiet rural area and under 5 to 6 miles in a noisy city setting. Is there a way you can tell how far away a storm is? That's actually a great question, Cadence. Actually, yes, you can. You can use the sound of thunder to tell how far away a storm actually is. The next time that you're in the middle of a storm, count the number of seconds in between when you see the lightning and then hear the thunder after it. Then take that number and divide it by five. By doing this, we'll tell you how far the storm is approximately in miles. Here's an example. If you counted 15 seconds in between the lightning and the sound of the thunder, the lightning is about three miles away from where it was that you counted. You can use a timer or a count using by one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi method. By saying the number plus the word Mississippi, that takes about one second. Of course, you know that Benjamin Franklin was interested in lightning. 
He actually learned many things about lightning, and in 1772, he was the first to show that a thunderstorm lets out electricity. Here are some other cool, fun facts about lightning. The study of lightning is known as fulminology. Astrophobia is the fear of thunder and lightning. And there are bolts of lightning hitting somewhere on Earth every single second of the day. Lightning strikes usually last for one or two microseconds. In Greek mythology, Zeus was the god of the sky and thunder. And in Norse mythology, Thor was the god of thunder. Thunder. And remember, lightning kills about 2,000 people a year. So be sure to stay inside during a lightning storm. If you are outdoors, make sure that you keep an eye at the sky. Make sure to look for clouds getting dark, flashes of lightning, or strong wind that comes out of the blue. Lightning many times happens before rain, so don't wait for the rain to actually start. If you do hear thunder, even if you don't see lightning, get to a safe place as quickly as you can. The best places to go is a house, a building, or a car, and make sure the windows in the car are actually closed. Don't go into sheds, stay away from picnic areas, as well as baseball dugouts and bleachers. If you can't find any shelter, stay away from trees. And crouch down in an open area and make sure to stay twice as far away from a tree as it is tall. You should also put your feet together, place your hands over your ears to help make thunder not so loud. And definitely don't go in any water. Other things to remember are staying away from fences and don't forget to take off your backpack. Many times they have metal on them. Again, don't use any water. So don't take a shower, wash your hands, do the dishes or laundry during a storm. And one last bit of advice, you should also try not to use any electronics like computers or appliances during the storm. And also, stay away from windows, doors, and stay off porches. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom! Boom.